Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use some simple tools at home to have fun today and do a really cool, kind of messy craft. Okay, so normally I would call this a palette knife abstract picture and we'll use palette knives at my studio. But since I know you're at home and you may not have a palette knife, we are gonna do something way cooler. We are gonna use a butter knife, okay? So just a regular butter knife is what you're gonna need. Um, a straw, any size straw will work. And some nail polish that you can scrounge around and find in your mom or your aunt and grandma's bathroom drawer. Okay, so we're gonna use these cool tools. Oh, and maybe glitter, in case we wanna add some glitter. And we are gonna use some acrylic paint, okay? You can try any acrylic paint that you have around the house. And I'm gonna do um, use it on my palette, but if you don't have a palette, you can just use a regular paper plate to add your paint. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a canvas. Now, if you don't have a canvas at home, you can use a thick sheet of paper or some sort of solid surface, okay? I think it even should work like it's completely flat and have a solid surface. And we're gonna take our butter knife and we are going to get some paint. So you're gonna dip it on the butter knife on the back, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my color and I'm gonna smear it all in. Okay, you can flip over your knife and smear it all in. And I'm gonna get some white and smear it all in, okay? And since it's abstract, we can really grab any colors we want. Okay, and mix those colors in. You're just actually mixing those colors with the knife. You're flipping the knife over if you want it, okay? Adding some pieces like that. Okay, I'm gonna get some, here, I'll show you what I'm doing. Take your knife, scrape it backwards, get some blue on there. Okay, we're gonna scrape some blue and white. We're just gonna turn it all around, okay? And if you can see, it creates really cool texture on a knife, okay? And I'm gonna get some more red, some red orange, some white. And I'm gonna smear it all around, okay? Now, you use big strokes that cover a lot of area. And if you don't wanna use big strokes, you just wanna add some pieces. I'm just trying to add that, okay? Okay. So, now what you're gonna do is we're adding some more color texture. We're trying to cover most of this area with paint. Okay, we don't want to have a lot of white canvas left, all right? And if you want, if you're like me and you love texture, then what we're going to do is we're going to add some more texture. So, you'll get big pieces of paint, okay? And right there, okay, big chunks of paint. And you're just going to kind of go on here and you're just going to kind of place it everywhere, okay? Because sometimes really cool things and pictures you just want some big chunks of color, okay? Okay. So, all right. Add a little bit more blue, okay? Yeah. So far, but it doesn't really resemble anything, okay? But it's got a lot of cool textures, okay? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some nail polish and we're going to add some nail polish to our so I'm gonna shake up some teal. Okay, shake it really good. Now, when you shake it and open it, you're gonna kinda of pour it high, okay? So you pour it all over, and you're just gonna pour it all over your picture, wherever you want it to go, okay? So we're just gonna take it, pour it in little circles, okay? And now I'm gonna get some orange, okay? Some bright orange. I don't know who gave me this nail polish, but now it's going to be put to a good use, okay? And we're going to pour some orange all over, okay, like that. Okay, all right, now that we have that, what we're going to do, of course, my sweet little boys are watching me. They watch everything I do at all times. Okay, now we're going to take our straw. Okay, this is the neat part. And we're going to blow some of that um, nail polish to the ends, okay? So you're gonna hold it. You wanna leave some chunks there and then some skinny, okay? Once 
you have it covered in some areas. Now, let's take one last color. Let's look at another color. Okay, this is kind of like a reddish color. And we're going to go around any areas that you see a lot of white. We don't want to add a lot of, leave any white on our, on our canvas, okay? We're going to kind of dip it, and we're going to do a shake it in some cool patterns, okay? Because we really want this to look like it's abstract art, okay? Okay. All right, are ready? Okay, so now we got this so far. All right. Okay. Now, this is kind of finished, okay? Now, if you want to take some glitter and add some more glitter, we're going to dip some glitter on it, okay? Sprinkle some glitter up here. There's some high areas. Okay, and now you have a very weird, very funky looking piece of art, okay? Now, if you want to try this later on and where you can do like an actual picture, you just use your palette knife to paint a picture. Okay, hope you help me have fun and enjoy your day.